Santa Monica is a city of beaches and the pier, by the way. Some great shopping with the promenade, Montana, Main Street, absolutely unbelievable. And the new shopping center too. And the dining, well, what can I say except it's to dine for. You know, dine, dine, die. Established by acclaimed local chefs Mary Sue Millican and Susan Feniger, Bora Grill is a modern urban cantina serving gourmet Mexican food. Hi, today we're going to be making our gaucho steak. Uh, we're going to start off with a ribeye and it's made with a little bit of chilaquiles too as well. So we're going to go ahead and start searing off our ribeye. We're going to season it nice and heavily with a little salt, fresh cracked pepper. We're going to put it on the hottest part of the grill so we get a nice, good sear on it. And then while that's cooking, we're also going to do a little grid, grilled red onion as well. Salt, pepper, a little cooking oil. Put that a little bit where it's nice and low. So our steak's going to take a little bit. While we're waiting for our steak, we're going to do a little salsa de arbole. Um, it consists of tomatillos and Roma tomatoes. And it's also going to be all grilled as well. So we're always going to do everything right here off the grill. And while those tomatillos and those uh, Roma tomatoes are uh, getting nice and charred, we're going to toast up some chile de arbol for our uh, arbol salsa. We're gonna get a nice medium pan, not too hot. Because if we get it too hot, it's gonna burn and we definitely don't want them burnt. It'll add a little bitterness to our uh, salsa. We don't want it bitter. We just want to heat up so the oils are out so you get that nutty flavor of the chile de arbol. Once these guys are nice and toasted, you can start smelling a little bit of the nuttiness of the chili. And once that's ready to go, we're gonna add it into our blender, a little Vita prep. Uh, add our uh, charred tomatoes and uh, tomatillos and finish it off with a little cilantro and season it with salt while we blend it up. So these guys are about to get nice and toasted. If you can see there's a little darkness into them, that's exactly what we want. You can smell the chile de arbol getting nice and toasted and that's, that's right to the point. You don't want to get any darker than this. We're going to add it right into our blender. So these are tomatoes are ready to go. We're going to add them right into our blender. Then we're also going to add a little bunch of cilantro into it. And this right here is our salsa de arbol that we serve at the restaurant. So what we're going to do is pull it off the heat, let it rest a little bit, because we don't want, when you cut into it, you don't want all those beautiful juices peeling out, peeling out, peeling out. And it gets served with chilaquiles. So we're going to get start off with a hot saute pan, and then we're going to sear off our sauce to make sure all the, so all the oils in the sauce get nice and flavorful. So it's really, really delicious. A little bit of oil, our salsa roja. It's got braised tomatoes, braised onions, a little serrano peppers in it as well. Then we're going to do our chips that we do in-house. And we're just going to toss this all nice and beautiful. Make sure all the, all the tortilla chips are nice and coated. Our little cheese mix. It's actually panela, cotija, and uh, manchego cheese. Finish it with a little cilantro. Look at that. Then we're going to put our steak right on top of that. Then it also gets served a little grilled red tomato with a little green onions. And then one of the best parts about this dish is we have a little confit garlic and a little confit chile serrano that goes right on top of it to finish it off. And this is our gaucho steak. And after the break, we cross the border in Santa Monica and indulge in some superb Mexican food.